the sweetest story ever told. Europe, learn it now. Here are how the two owners of one small family business look at something called the cost per thousand. Well, I'd like to point out here that Harry and I have pretty much sold on Spot TV. Yes, particularly when you compare it with the cost per thousand of some of the print publications. That's Bert. right, Harry. Why to use a black and white page in the Saturday Evening Post cost 48% more in 1958 than the same page did in 1950. Life magazine? 54% more. I'll do this, Harry. And to reach this same circulation today with a daily newspaper cost the advertiser 42% more than in 1950. 45% more with the Sunday paper. with each other to discover and develop new sources of oil. For believe it or not, in the USA, anyone who is willing to risk it can drill for oil. I have definite proof uh, that there is right under our very eyes uh, a, a revolution in progress. Yes, I may interrupt, Commissioner. Aren't you twisting the facts just a little bit? Uh, no, uh, in, indeed. I'd I, I, point I, out as chairman that the commissioner may have proof, and if so, he certainly can display it here and now. Thank you. I, I have papers to prove it. it. It says right here, I'm holding them now. There is a revolution in progress. Uh, no audible manifestations of approval or disapproval, please. May I see the paper, commissioner? can give its workers security and employee benefits. Operating at a profit, a business can provide the employee with comfortable, colorful working conditions. High wages and steady employment, first aid and health protection, mm -hmm. accident and life insurance. The American system of free enterprise will give the young people of today the freedom of opportunity to develop ideas which will make a better way of life for the children of tomorrow. Now, here to comment briefly on television's total image. Thank you. I appreciate this opportunity to stress the vital place of television in our national life. It is an unmatched selling force, to be sure, but television is more, far more. It is more than entertainment more than the means of commercial communication. Stated simply, television is the greatest power yet created for cultural and educational development. Following a year of searching criticism, both from within and without our industry, television has emerged stronger than ever before. Considering its sensational growth, we aren't surprised that problems and imperfections should have come to light even though caused by a few irresponsible people. But television has shown real stature in acknowledging the imperfections and in taking steps to correct them. In 10 short years, television has done much to increase advertising efficiency. And still greater progress lies ahead. So today, management wants the right answer to this question. How can our business best use television?